Welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to make cottage cheese. Look at this. This is fresh milk from our cow. The, the cream is like that deep. So first we're going to put the milk into the pot. You always want to use a spatula because you want to get every bit of cream that you can. There we go. Now we're going to heat the milk to 120 degrees Fahrenheit on medium. Okay, so we need to heat the milk to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now it's at 63, so we got a little ways to go. And you just want to gently stir it so that it doesn't burn on the bottom. 118, 119. Okay, we're at 120. I'm just going to turn the heat off. And now we're going to add three quarters of a cup of vinegar. Just pouring it in. Three quarters of a cup of vinegar one gallon of milk. And we're going to stir it for one minute and we're going to watch it's going to start to coagulate. I'm just going to keep stirring it for one minute. This is quick and easy cottage cheese. Now with the heat off, we're going to put the lid on and we're going to let it sit for one hour. It's been one hour and this is the cottage cheese. So we're going to finish it off now. Now we're just going to drain this into our pot. So it's been one hour, and now we're just gonna strain. Use the spatula, get all of the goodness out. Now we're gonna let it sit in the strainer for five minutes. Now this is the curd has drained, and what you want to do is, just with some gloves on, you want to just break up the curd into smaller pieces. And you'll see it's releasing some of the whey and the vinegar. And you want to take clean water and give it a rinse. This helps to remove the vinegar taste. While using your hands to make the smaller curds. And do give the curds a taste just to make sure that all the vinegar taste has been removed. It needs a little bit more. it again. Well that's nice. It's so now using your hands you'll just break it up. Now if I leave it like this, dry curd, dry cottage cheese. If you want a moister cottage cheese, what you'll do is you'll simply just take some and if you want a thicker one, you can add some cream. That's nice and thick, that's cream. And just give it a blend. Nice and moist. Or 
you can take some and you can just add milk, the cream removed, and give it a stir. And there you have it, cottage cheese. There you have it. Beautiful cottage cheese. I'm going to use this today actually for the lasagna I'm making for supper. And that's how you make some simple cottage cheese. Remember, use what you have and do what you can and make yourself some cottage cheese. <laughs>